I got a new goal for 2019, mm -hmm. and not only 2019, but everything afterwards. I was talking to my homie Chris Palmer a few days ago. Shout out Chris Palmer. And uh, he said, uh, I, found, I think I found the worst word ever. Worst word. And I'm like, okay. He goes, what's the, the word for vagina that people use all the time? I'm just like, pussy. He's like, yeah, yeah, pussy. What's the word for, a, for an arsehole, but for a man's arsehole? And I was just like straight away, puppy. And he goes, no, why the fuck would it be that? It's like, you said it so quickly and reassuring. I'm like kind of confused about who you are and what you've done with your life now. And I'm like, I don't know, just, that's just what it seemed to me. But he goes, no, no, it's bussy. Apparently bussy stands for boy pussy. I've never heard of this in my life. And I watch a bussy. lot of horse shit. <laughs> you know. So yeah, he said bussy. He says, you know what else? That may, may not be the word. He says, you know what's even worse? Brussy. Uh, Throat well, pussy. I, f I feel like these are just words people are just making up and it's becoming a meme or a yeah. Reddit thread. Bussy, thrussy. And I was like, those words are trash. I'm like, it should be puppy. He goes, no, it should. I'm like, you know what, man? Yeah, I like I like puppy. A puppy, I but not just for a man's butt, for a woman's butt too. I feel like, puppy. you know, you've got, you've got your pussy. It's not bad. It makes sense that a pussy in the opposite would be puppy. Well. So my goal for this year and forever forward is to make the word for male and female asses Puppy. You heard it here first, Jungle Beats. Yeah. Just think about it. Your girl getting rammed from you from behind and she turns around to you. She's just like, mm, fuck my puppy, puppy. But like, come on, man. Come on, man. How do you not want that in a way? Oh, you must be thinking about that one. That's a good one. Anyway, that's uh, it. Um, start the video. Well, I'm uh, sure. We're, uh, we're Jungle Beats. We're Jungle Beats, Australia's <laughs> plugged to the uh, best, uh, the, just the, the worst reviews in the country. You're the puppy. And um, we're doing a special unknown artist reaction to Connor Helm and Blakey Blake and their five track EP called Way Out, which is available now, link in the description. They, they came to us and they said, hey, mm -hmm. can we invest in you guys to get us to review music? And we said, hell yes, well we do. And so well, we now do. we're here. Mm -hmm. I don't really have much background. They didn't really send any background, couldn't find them on Google. Um, so we're going to dive in with eyes wide open. 100%. What's your name, who? Fuck. I don't know. I'm a between three ferns. You've been waiting the whole time to say that. What's your name? Because you thought I was going to go and do it. I wasn't going to do it. Shit. I mean, I didn't have anything. I was actually just looking at Seth Godin for ages. I'm like, I can't say that. It's too obvious. And I was just like, then I thought, not for them. It's not. They can't see it. And then I like thought of about a fern for some reason. So I was like, oh, something to do with the fern. It's like the Zach Galif Galifianakis thing. That's the one. Yeah. Is that you say his name? I always I thought know. it was that. Anyways, we're here to do this, Alan. Thank you very much for reaching out to us. If you all want to do the same, you can uh, reach us on our social media outlets, Jungle Beats Media, Instagram, and also you can email us as well. Very good. And the cover's, the cover's super dope too. That this, it's almost like an ice cream cone man. And he's like, what? Kind of, and he's like, oh, it's a dog. And anyways, it looks good. Yeah, I like it. New slang like a big color, try to shit on you when you get dollars, but I poke through it like a big papa, cause you can't shut down a big baller. Phone ringing, but I'm sitting alone and down the line. I'm in this desert, I'll be getting a fucking walk and live in this desert, I'll be with my wrist, man, give me a shot, I'll be niggas know. I don't know what these niggas know. I'm walking on a path of gold, yellow brick with a yellow chick, got told y'all not out of here. What's that mean if you don't know? That's right. Very like dark tones, basically. Yeah, very good. I'm like, who's that sound like? But still unique enough. Yeah. That's that shit right there. 
We, we, fair to say, neither of us expected that amount of heat. <laughs> Fuck no, man. We know we're not used to hearing heat. <laughs> this is... I'm so surprised. Under a thousand view, uh, under a thousand listens of all this, you know, not particularly big on social media, yet they've come out with quite a sophisticated, mature, um, mastered really well, like, banger. Yeah, I love how the intro sort of doesn't give you any sort of hints as to what, what's going to happen. And even just like when the bass is hitting so hard, the... I don't know what they were, keys like that. Like, whatever that instrument was, it was just like, it just, it just kind of melted with it really good and gave it some, gave it some motherfucking flavor. Dope way to start. Uh, you got a very sort of low, deep, deep voice. Yeah, like, really good, like really great voice. And both of you, I, th I think, was there two people on there? I only heard the one on there. Okay, my bad. The verses well, did I mean, sound a bit- I mean, there could be two. The verses did sound a bit different. Um, and I feel like that kept it fresh and engaging. And uh, I think it's a very good way to start an EP, especially for a lot of new listeners like us. Like, you've drawn me in. Like, I already want to add this to my Spotify because I want to hear this again. Yeah, I kind of liked how it was short and sweet as well. Really punchy, good way to start it off. And uh, yeah, let's see what else you got. Hey, that's an, another guy. Must have really been good. You're talking about it 15 minutes later. Shit, son. Switch up. Hold up. Hold up. Hey! Hey! Like a tame impala inspired. Very tame impala, tame impala inspired ending. But then the first half we noticed before that switch up, to me it was more of this electronic, uh, grand cinematic vibe that I was getting. Two distinct, and even now the harmonizing, two very distinct sounds on this track. Yeah, it was one of those tracks where I was kind of just like, Half, half, quarter way through, I'm just like, it's gonna have to give me more if I'm gonna get more involved with this, and it gave me that. Cause when it, cause the, I felt the, the original beat that started off was a bit too simplistic, or a bit too repetitive, I'm like, but the, the vocals were good enough to hold me, and I'm like, cool, yeah. what else are they gonna do with it? Then they had the switch up of the beat, switch back to the original, and then they had the switch up at the end to the more psychedelic approach. And in a total, it ended up being a really, really fun track that kept me, kept me attentive. I'm happy with this variety yeah. I'm getting from these guys. You give me, Every time I'm thinking I need to be given something more for me to stay tuned, you give me that something, so it was dope. This is Sam Samsung Galaxy Freestyle. I wonder if I asked to record all the Samsung Galaxy. Probably, maybe. Yeah, I don't think so.
that demonstrated to me just some really, really cool wordplay and vocal uh, delivery right there. Like that's, I could really hear every word they were enunciating very clearly and vividly. Um, almost gave me some like a, a Jay-Z type of uh, uh, delivery style. Love that. It's showing me uh, versatility. Absolutely. The three songs we've heard so far have been all very different. I like how they don't feel the need. If, if, it, if it doesn't need anything more, they don't try and add too much to it. Like the first, the first and that track then were quite shorter because they're punchy. They didn't need to go over it. But with the Thank second you. track, they switched. They probably could have ended early, but they switched it up. They switched it up enough that the length didn't matter. So I think they're And smart. even then, it was still three minute long. Mm. It didn't drag on. Um, but yeah, I think the thing that I've definitely got to grow on me the most is probably... Like I said, the deliveries are dope, but I think it's some of the, the mixing, like the way they've layered the vocals a bit. I don't know if, I've, if I'm fully fucking with it yet. You're unsure on that? Unsure, but still okay. still enjoyable. So See, I'm, for me, this is... Unfortunately, not of a lot of our Jungle Beats people will watch this one because um, of the title of the video, but unfortunately, I'm not as skilled as picking that type of stuff up. Like as a listener, like mixing and like mastering, like it's hard for me to hear that. Like what do you hear when you say that? When you say that? Like... Like the, the so basically some of the vocals they've recorded are layered on top of each other, but the way that maybe some of it's layered, it just sounds a little not necessarily off. Just I can just hear it being better. Okay, so it's like a potential for yeah, yeah, yeah. refinement. Like it's it's weird because I've seen a lot of people listen to a lot of say music they've recorded, and they've maybe mastered a little themselves. But like I'll listen to it, I'll be like I can hear it being better, and I'll, I'll give it to like say someone who actually does it for a job, and they'll master it, and then I'll listen to it again, like yeah, I can hear it being clearer. And it's also about listening to it on different devices because everything sounds different on different sound that you listen to, which is why artists like J. Cole, before they put the shit out, will listen to it in the car, will listen to it in the kitchen, will listen to it, listen to it in every sort of platform they can just so they can hear any sort of differences. That's a good point. Yeah, so um, yeah, I think mixing and mastering is huge. for uh, if, you, if you want your shit to last and you want to go far, it's, it's a big thing, man. Absolutely. So five years that I had to survive Sometimes a legend dies Lies are mesmerized Guys that can't analyze Their heads blocking in mind Like they against Kawhi Said it was all over The feelings keeping on the time I remember when it was dark And we told you lie The things are changing We get old and time But once more We'll say that we be home And it's not ourself And my what met you And you didn't find a wealth I wonder what it is Stay in the world We ain't worried about being great But just great and go where they slowed it down brought it back up that was that was fire i thought it was gonna end there and i'm like no nah, this isn't enough this is too short you need more but i'm very glad you, you you guys you guys finished that very strongly and um kept me attentive throughout the last beat that's what we've been saying about how they just know if to end it or when not to end it they've kind of figured figured it out for these tracks so far can we talk about that production as well like what what was that that was like Every track has had this. I don't know. It's it's like of this um this vinyl like like um scrape or something. I can't really describe it. But every track has had a distinctive flavor and uniqueness and creativity to its production. Not nothing crazy, but but something that keeps you. Oh, that's interesting. What is that? Uh, I don't I don't know exactly what that was. Thinking, but it definitely had more psychedelic feels to it, I would say. Considering the cover, feels like uh, psychedelic feels might be. Something. But it's only for two tracks, though. That one and the second track. 
Okay. But that's kind of what I can't think of the top of my head what maybe strings or just certain high pitched keys. It was more just a sample that had been looped, so mm -hmm. but they just added their own effects to it to give it that more wavy feel. Wavy. That's what that describes this track well and this album. E B. You good? I'm good, fam. Last I'm enjoying one. this. What a great way to finish, just hard hitting, just, and the delivery just showed once again why like the production and the way you two work together is so good, but then the delivery intertwined with the production, it just works so well for me. Mm. Um, you know, this ain't exceptional, but this is just this is good. This is really good for me and I, 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 I enjoy it. Yeah, really dope way of finishing it. Uh, it's kind of weird because I feel like some of these tracks have definitely had some boom bapness to them and they've got that boom bap bounce to it but they've got that like that that uh, experimentality with some of the psychedelic sounds and um, I just feel like they blend um, that sort of old sound with a lot of what they what they wear on their sleeve quite well I mean they said themselves well, one of them said themselves they said rapping since so this has been a dream since eight years old or they definitely seem like they ain't new to this that while this may be their, one of their first EPs they have quite a sophisticated, mature, refined delivery and sound. Like, this ain't no first week rapper, mm. one month rapper. Yeah, listen to it in full. The production, I can't fold at all. I thought it was really, really clean, the whole the whole five tracks. But uh, if there was anything I'd say that I didn't grab you as much, I've got to say probably probably your vocals. They're not, they're not bad, don't get me wrong, they're good. But I kind of felt like leaving the CP, I'm kind of like thinking just solely for the production mostly, like, you guys did your thing, but it's kind of like you didn't. I didn't feel like like you switched up the flows too much, or maybe, or maybe like that your voice was it's softer at times because the bass was overriding it. Or I, I, that's just how I feel. Like I still think this is a fucking solid, solid EP. But if there was anything I'd, I'd, I'd sort of feel was a bit off, it'd have to be your vocals. I'd say. Okay, that's interesting because that's where that engages me a lot. The mm -hmm. vocal delivery, but I see what you're saying. They def. I guess they definitely could have added some more flair creativity with their flows and switch ups and speed and tempo or cadence but once again it's kind of like that's kind of just like when they're picking yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah. course like, like it's, overall it's not needed but it's just a general feel i feel you mm. hey connor blake you guys do a hell of a job yeah i'm so glad you guys reached out to us because this really impressed us and we hope uh, a lot of our fans can fuck with this both man really dope five track ep not trying to push the limits with uh in terms of length or uh, past what it what it actually is you've kept it to the point i fuck with it it's, it's dope jungle beats man if you guys want us to review your music email us junglebeatsmedia gmail.com check these motherfuckers out they dope links in description zero the puppy remember puppy don't say ass don't say what else is another word for us booty don't say booty don't say don't say bussy we say in puppy, it's year of the puppy, motherfuckers, all right? It's actually year of the dog. I mean the pig. No, it's year of the head, but 